Hello everyone, there is the time and date. And we are out here to take a look at the high pressure sodium light. You can see right there. There's the light. I'll get under it so you can see it better. There's the high pressure sodium. I don't know why there's that band in the middle. But you can see right there. Old light fixture and it does emit a very, very yellow light. And you can see all around this area, it's all yellow orange. And then over there, it's sort of at dusk, you can see it's kind of bluish. And we are getting, we already received a new LED light, so we'll have to go and install it tomorrow and see how it is. But you can see over there, there's another high pressure sodium light right there across the street. And it does emit the same color of light. It's pretty low. It's pretty low color temperature. So I'll show you another view of the high pressure sodium light when it's a little bit darker outside. Hello everybody, there is the time and date. It's almost 2200 or 10 o'clock. This is going to be another video of the high pressure sodium light that will be replaced you can see it up there again it still looks the same although now it is darker and you can tell on the side of the house and on the ground that the color rendition isn't too good I'm wearing a dark green sweater and you cannot tell it looks black under this light right here and then there's the light across the street you can see color temperature matches because they are both high pressure sodium lights and even though it is so yellow you can kind of see there's some moths attracted to it some other bugs attracted to it and you can see this vehicle over here is white high pressure sodium it gives it kind of like an orange tinge because of the light and then this vehicle over here is gray it's not too bad color rendition but greens aren't very good and other colors such as that and you can see over here in the yard same thing that's green tree right there and there's a moon and you can see over here at the entrance are two LED candelabra based bulbs and they're at around 3000 Kelvin and you can tell that the color rendition is a lot better I think high pressure sodiums are only around 2500 and I'll leave you with a view of the area directly under the light. So I guess that will be it for this part of the video. Hello guys, there's the date and time. It's one week later. And last Saturday we did install the light. Now let me show you right here's a side profile view. You can see with the light, it's pretty bright and it extends right here. The car covers it up though. LEDs are highly directional. It points down, but you can see the circle of light extends a little bit into the street. The camera's having a hard time focusing, it looks like. There, we'll switch it to manual. You can see it does extend a little bit into the street, but it fades out pretty quickly. You can see there's the LED light right there. I don't think, oh, looks like we're going to try to get white balance adjustment. There are the individual lights. It is extremely bright. 42 1 watt LEDs and you can see right here natural skin tone you can see you can see right there the light does have a reflector ring and that's the only thing that allows the light to exist this far away from the source because like I said LEDs are highly directional so unfortunately because of that it's not necessarily as bright as the 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb but it's pretty close to it you can see it's bright right here and right here you can still see white when you come to this point you can see the high pressure sodium light starts to take over from the street and you can see right here the colors aren't as accurate because high pressure sodium so right here's the transition line but other than that it seems like a really good buy I would recommend it it's pretty good and it doesn't consume that much electricity so thank you all for watching and i guess that's going to be it by using this light we are actually saving 40 percent on the electricity thanks for watching